What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bearman17. Coming at y'all with a video today. Uh, we got a special guest right here. Doja Cat. I'll take a look. She just want to be in the camera, bruh. Ah, shit. No, oh. nah, damn. Hey, no, nah, but hey. She, she got to chill, bruh. But nah, hey. Back to the show plus. Our regular scheduled program. All right. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, check out my gun videos. Check out my gun collection. I'm going to make an updated gun collection real soon. Got something special coming in real soon. Haven't quite ordered it yet, but it's going to be a micro Draco coming in real soon. But now the Shield Plus. Uh, first off, we could talk about the holster. All right. This is really just a Shield Plus video. Not necessarily a review. Not necessarily like an EDC video. But this is just me showing y'all my current setup and just giving y'all my thoughts on it. All right. So, we got the tier one conceal, concealment holster, uh, IWB inside the waistband. Uh, got the sidecar on there. What I got on the sidecar, the Shield Plus uh, stock mag. You can see it's stock. Got the logo right there. Got them, the Normas, monolithic hollow, hollow points, them MHPs, super cheap defensive ammo. That's what I got in my, my spare 15 round mag. Filled up to the brim. Don't even play, bro. But nah, uh, it's a great holster, bro. Great holster. This here, Norma ammo. I've shot this ammo plenty of times. Haven't had no issues with it. So if you're thinking about getting it, uh, or if you've been checking it out, or if you're just looking for some cheap ammo, go to uh, uh, Palmetto State Army. I was going to say Shield Arms. Go to PSA, Palmetto State Army website. They got the ammo on there for cheap. Go snag you several boxes of it, bro. Stock up. Nine milli, of course. All right. So again, that's the shield plus. That's what I got in the sidecar. On to the gun itself. Start off with the grips. Y'all see the grip? Y'all see it's red. Some people like it. Some people don't. I love it. Uh, don't really care about what anybody. If you don't like it, cool. Like I said, some people like it. Some people don't like it. I love it. So it's on the gun. The grip stock is not bad at all, but. Every time I took it to the range, bro, and whenever I'm carrying it, I did notice that, like, it slipped around a little bit. My hands get sweaty sometimes. I got pretty big hands. I don't know. I just feel like with the sandpaper texture, keeps the moisture down. Uh, and I, I like it like this. So, that's how I rock it, bro. So, yeah, got the handle of grips. I got these on Amazon for probably, like, 10, 15 bucks. Pretty sure I got them off Amazon. Again, sandpaper grip. Kind of dancing the light. You know about them VVS diamonds. No, I'm playing. Nothing like diamonds, but hey, it's it's a nice grip. Sandpaper, so I mean, I really don't got to say too much. It's either you like sandpaper grip or you don't. If you look way, 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 way back on my channel, you'll see that I had some other grips on here. Matter of fact, them same grips that I had on here before, I got them on my Glock. They're on my Glock. Actually, uh, these grips here, they might be a little bit different, but. The same texture, you feel me? Same texture. So, well, yeah, that's the Glock, but it's not a Glock video. We're talking about the Shield Plus. Let me get this Glock out the way. But nah, the Shield Plus, this is the first gun that I bought. I got the one that had the thumb safety because uh, it was the first gun I bought, bro. Like, so I got the one that had the thumb safety on it. See, I got the Glock. Don't be in the comments talking crazy, talking about, oh, why you get a thumb safety? Why didn't you get a thumb safety? Comment down below. Boost me in the algorithm. But nah, I got the thumb safety on there. Slide stop, not bad. Take down lever, I fuck with that. That's pretty clean. Uh, if you know about the Shield Plus, you know the trigger is fire. Stock 13 round mag in there. Got some wear on it. You can tell it's been in and out. Uh, it's a great mag, great gun, double stack, holds 13. And I mean, yeah, this gun is a few years old now. You can see the magazine is worn out a little bit, but I've had no issues with it, no jammy jams. Matter of fact, it might be perfectly broken in like this. Just look at the light hitting that shit. But yeah, got the model with the thumb safety. Ain't nothing wrong with the thumb safety. If I wanna, once I get that Smith and Wesson 5.7, I'm gonna probably get the one that got the thumb safety. It ain't gonna be nothing y'all can say about it. No, I'm playing. I really, I really don't care if people say anything about the thumb safety or not, but handle it grips. Look at the marksmanship on this shit, bro. 
I might take these grips off soon, but just look at that Smith & Wesson. Springfield, Massachusetts, USA. USA made, of course. I want to say these are True Glows. True Glows, they're not fiber optics. Are they? They might be fiber optic. True Glow, fiber optic sights. Yeah, those are True Glow fiber optics on the Glock. I got the XS night sights. Honestly, I rock with these sights here a little bit more. And I mean, this here is my favorite pistol to shoot. I ain't even gonna cap. But when it just comes to pure carry, size, compactability, comfortability, availability, you can't go wrong with the Shield Plus. I got fairly large hands, bro. So if you're watching this video, there's probably like a 95% chance that your hands are not as large as mine. So I don't know. You take, you do what you will with that info. But uh, phenomenal gun, phenomenal firearm, huge fan of it. This holster, phenomenal holster, helps conceal the weapon. Very great. It's red, of course, favorite color. But uh, if y'all want a part two to this video, y'all comment down below. Think I done did enough rambling. See y'all boys in the next one. I'm gone.